tonight was was what I think is going to be my last competition in Canada. Um, I, I had already qualified for the world finals this year, so um, so that's why I said specifically in Canada, but otherwise it, it could have been my last battle total. Um, just because I, I've been doing it for so long. I've been doing it for five years now, and it takes so much energy to compete with, with art. And it's kind of, after a while, you kind of feel like you're, uh, you're limited by having to be innovative and come with something new all the time. And like, like you're always compared to what you've done in the past and stuff. So it's like, it gets hard to, to just keep doing new and better stuff than yourself. And sometimes you just want to make art, right? And uh, so yeah, this is my, my last time in Canada. It's kind of cool because um, a lot of my friends came out this time, which like usually it's a lot of, like DJ crowd and stuff, but I got a lot of people who who had never seen me before. And I was like, this is like, I'm going to DJ in Canada again, but I, I might not compete again. So I wanted people to see kind of what I was like in my battle zone because it's a little bit different than your normal club DJing. I'm feeling less like I, I just want to do routines and battles. So it's definitely like, yeah, it's, it's an avenue I'm going to explore, like going more into mixing and, and a bit more, be a bit more diverse and stuff. But um, definitely still like my heart is in, in like the technical battling and, and things because I feel like that's where people push themselves to be more innovative and, and add to the art form in DJing. Whereas a lot of like, um, like when it's mixing and stuff, there's not really, people aren't really doing it for the art as much. There are people, but it's not a lot. There's not a lot of people really pushing it, but you know, it takes somebody who wants to push it to get into that realm to do it.